my father had served in the National Guard, my oldest brother in the U.S. Navy, and uh, my younger brother in the Air Force during the Korean War. And so I felt it was my turn to give something back just like they had. We had been trying to attack a steel mill in North Vietnam. And as we flew over the target, uh, we took at least one hit, maybe two, right in the belly of the airplane. Just as we started the roll in, our number four man got hit again. And when number four checked in, he checked in with bingo minus 5,000, which meant he had 2,000 pounds left, which was not even enough gas for him to get out of North Vietnam. And as we were climbing up, I started thinking, what can I possibly do to help this guy get out of North Vietnam? Because North Vietnam in that area was nothing but rice paddies. And as I was backing out, I was looking up at the belly of his airplane, and then all of a sudden, the tail of his airplane, and there was the tail hook. So I had him lower the tail hook. And I moved in under him and put his tail hook in the middle of our windshield and started to add power. A lot of people have asked me, said, how did you, how did you have the courage to make the decision knowing that that windshield could break at any time. My dad taught me that when your friend needs help, you help. I couldn't have come home and told him I didn't even try anything because that's exactly what he would have asked me. He would have said, did you try? So I had to be able to answer that with a yes. And luckily, it worked. It means a lot, especially having had the honor of, of serving in combat. It doesn't give me any extra privileges, but I can guarantee you it makes me feel better about who I am. <laughs>